guys and welcome to another unboxing video. No, this isn't working. Okay, there we go. So we still have quite a few packs from the last video. But we need to open, so I'm just going to do them quickly. And yeah, we start this one with uh, Oakheart Dryads. So that's pretty nice. I'm trying to get a good view on this. Focus. Okay, you don't want to focus. Ooh, destroy target enchanted creature or enchantment creature. Nice. I like that. Destroy target creature and all auras attack to it to their owner's hand. Hmm. Nice, nice. Uh, we're called Satyr Hoplite. Nice. And. Oh, you have heroic. Uh, it's a hound. A two, two hound. Four. Four? And you can tap target creature. That doesn't sound all that great. So, some better tapping creature. Yes. Oh. You're at five, five, or six. And you have uh, some cool constellation belt. Whenever Humbler of. Mortals or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control. Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. Nice. Ravenous Lucorot. That's Vigilance Monstrosity 3. So, you can make him quite a bit better uh, than the 2 4 he starts out with. Flame speakers will enchant creature uh gets plus one plus one and whenever enchant creature does combat damage to a player you may sacrifice as well if you do destroy target artifact. That's I feel like that could be really useful if you're against a certain deck. Uh aspect of Gorgon, not Corgon. That makes more sense. Uh a press of raise, enchant creature, enchant creature can't attack or block unless it's control place three. Uh roll roll look of abandon. Ten creature get plus two, minus two in all creatures. I mean I guess that could be really good, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. Solidarity of heroes. Strive. Solidarity of Heroes costs one and a force. More to cast for each target beyond the first change. Sending over type creatures, double the number. Plus one plus one counters on each of them. Hmm. I guess that could be really good. I feel like uh, with some duplication stuff, that would be really good. Cyclops of Internal Fury. Creatures you control have haste. It's a 5-3. Nice. I might put that in the deck. Ooh, this is our rare. You have hexproof. You can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponent controls. Oh, that's... He's just a 2-1 with that ability. Earth. Curse. Litter. Earth. Rios. Curse. Litter. Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce this. As Rios cares little for the other gods' conflict with mortals. He is concerned only with the safe passage for the dead. There we go. And that was the fourth and our final card, which is just about... You should join us. Join the conversation. And this book just comes smashing the gal. Oh. I made a pencil fall. All right. Oh my gosh, I just 
Okay. I'm making magic cards fall everywhere. This is not the good. It's not the good. Nah. Not the good. Okay. So, that was a, uh, that was a Journey into Nyx. You couldn't really see that well, but believe me, I'm right. I'm, I'm right. Come on. Believe me. <laughs> believe me. Okay. So, now with our, uh, Born of the Gods. That's Dark, uh, Born of the Gods. I think you can see that. So we start out with Nixhorn Wolf, which is a uh, 3 for 3 1 that has a cool ability, I guess. Uh, Floodlight Serpent, 5 for 4 4. Floodlight Serpent can attack unless you return champion. Okay. Sounds pretty good. I'm just going to skip some of these. Oh, unless, like, they seem particularly interesting. Oh! This. I think I've, I have a card really similar to this one. Right, so this is a one four four four, but it's flying and like some other good stuff. Ooh, okay, I see how this could be useful. So, uh, another Nixhorn. Are we getting a lot of Nixhorns here? Nixhorns seem common now. I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they are. Oh, eh, eh. hide it, hide it. Well, I'll show it anyways. Uh, another forest. Why am I getting forests in these? But. It's cool because we got an awesome element enchantment creature zombie, which I haven't got before. So I don't have another token of that. Right, so some cool walking cards and Nullifly and Impetuous Sun Chaser. Impetuous. Each turn of people. Oh, it's one of those cards. But it does have haste. I wish it wasn't a 1-1, one, one, though. A 2-1 with those abilities would be probably a rare or something. Dark creature. Box this turn of fable. Mm. Oh, right. I I always forget how useful those cards are in certain decks. Okay. Vanguard of Brimex. Uh, Vigilance and Heroic. Cool. Cool. Alright. Uh, this is a 4-1 chain creature. Oh, no, Enchant Creature, that called Oracle's Insight. You can read up on that card, but it has a long description. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many long description cards. Lightning Volley. Until end of turn, creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals one damage to target creature or player. Uh, that's a kind of confusingly written card. Oh, is this our rare? Is this a rare? It's a rare! Whenever an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to an opponent, Satire Fire Dancer deals that much damage to target creature that player controls. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, sorry. I. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. So basically, you target an instant or sorcery and then you also use that damage again it's I'm bad at explaining these things but yeah basically it's a cool card Although I'm, I don't know I don't really I'm not all that happy with it for a rare so this is destroy target artifact or land uh, then if Pharaoh's Warden, tap target creature with power three or less. For a four? That's not worth it, I don't think. Uh, flesh Mad Steed. Whenever another creature dies, tap Flesh Mad Steed. Mm. Nimbus Na Nade. Is it Nimbus Nade? I don't know what it is. But it has Bestow and... We got a Death Bellow Raider, and I don't think I really have much time, so Enchantment Creature Unicorn! Oh, yay! And I can add one mana of any color 
to my mana pool. Although it's three for a one two, so that's not great. Uh, so I can use stuff to regenerate that guy, which is kind of a lot for a one one to be honest. But I guess if you are like creature stuck, then it could be nice. Uh, breaching hippo camp. It has flash and uh, it can untap another creature. So yeah, I might I might find that pretty useful. On the fourth day, they pass through a forest of immense stacked stones. Uh, the most of the moan, the youngest of the champions. But the champion knew better. She quickened her pace. It's a three five. I read that wrong. I think. Titan strength. Titan's target creature. The gains plus three plus one until end of turn. Scribe one. For one? This is good. I think this is quite good. Plus three plus one till end of turn and scry one? Yeah! That is nice. Seek God's revenge. Return up to three target creature your opponents your opponents control to their owner's hand, scribe one. I don't know how useful that would be, but maybe, maybe one of you guys used that, and I'm just dumb. Uh, a 2-1 one for 1 that I'm just tapped. Okay. Uh, Triton Fortune Hunter. Heroic, and okay. Oh, it has a different heroic than I thought it would. <gasps> Okay, so, obviously, this is not the best, but, 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 four for a six, five, already pretty good. So, I haven't read this card before. I'm so excited, I got a god. I got a god, and it's a mythic rare. It's a mythic rare. Oh my gosh, okay. As long as your devotion to red is less than five, Fur per foros isn't a creature. Oh, that's kind of weird. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, fur foros deals two damage to each opponent. Oh my gosh! Creatures you control get plus one, zero until end of turn. Oh my gosh! This this is awesome. We got an awesome guy, and look at this. Look at this uh, token. That is some awesome art for a token. Yeah, I am happy. We got a god. We got a god. So yeah, here are all the cards that we opened today. Whoa! Oh my gosh, we opened so many cards and. He opened all these packs. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!